just took a uh, first stop here. We're really close to Medellin. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so we've been on the bus for about 11 and a half hours. If I can just take a second to complain about something, this has definitely been the worst part of the trip. Yesterday at Playa Blanca, I got so sunburned. Really, really stupid, honestly. So sunburned. And then on the bus, it's like a refrigerator right there. Everyone had told me it's gonna be super cold, so I, I put on all my warm clothes. There's no way this is this is enough. I have like two pairs of pants on, two shirts on, my hat, and I'm freezing in there trying to sleep. So uh, there's me complaining. And we're almost to Medellin, and I'm just gonna get to a hostel and then just sleep all day there. But we have to stop here. Uh, really, really cloudy out here. I guess more just in the mountains. Definitely reminds me of a lot of when I was in Brazil in the winter time. But yeah, that's been my uh, my bus experience so far here. In, in Colombia. Comfortable bus, has Wi-Fi, has uh, outlets on the plus side. I just should have brought a uh, below freezing rated sleeping bag. The one redeeming factor about this bus ride is I'm here with my friend Claudia, who I met in the hostel. Hola. And she is from Argentina, and I'm learning quickly that where there is an Argentinian, there is mate. That's what I was just drinking. Okay, good morning from Medellin, Colombia. I've been waiting a long time to come to the city. Uh, this was like a big goal of mine when traveling South America was to spend some time in Medellin and I'm already loving it. I got here yesterday after the bus ride and pretty much just slept all day because I didn't really sleep too hot on the bus as you saw in the clip a little bit there. So from my short time here, this is my second morning, um, I can see that this city of Medellin is a complete difference from what Cartagena is. To be fair, it's a 13 hour bus ride. Cartagena is right on the coast. Uh, so Cartagena definitely has that like tropical, uh, smaller coastal town feeling, but here is definitely a big, a big modern city. It almost feels a little bit like Seattle, which is where I'm from. So I think I'm gonna be here a little bit longer. So I may have to change the format of my channel from a travel channel, a travel vlogging channel, to a living in one big beautiful city for a month at a time and going on to the next one or something like that. So a little bit of differences already between this and Cartagena. And Cartagena, as you, can, as you saw, most of my hostels were $15 a night. Uh, this one that I'm staying in here, which is incredibly, incredibly nice, I will show this in a second. This one was $12 a night. The prices of things in the stores seem relatively the same. I actually bought a water bottle yesterday. Yesterday, that was 3,000 pesos, where I found in the same. It's the same brand store. It's Exito, and the Exito in Cartagena had them for about a thousand. So um, I'm sure I'll be able to, to uh, find the cheaper spots as time goes on. Yesterday, um, I got off the bus. Uh, it's still incredibly sunburned. Got here to the hostel, uh, went and bought some aloe vera and bought some Tylenol and uh, just pretty much used the whole bottle in one day over the course of the day and relaxed here and um, just slept a lot of the day. Didn't really have any coffee, just napped and it felt really, really nice after that long sleepless bus ride from Cartagena. Um, I'm gonna probably take another day just to recuperate a little bit because I'm still pretty burned and my shoulders especially in a lot of pain and I just don't think it's good for me to go out in the sun just so recently. Maybe you can see it on my face. I think my skin looks a little beat up and so I'm just gonna take some time today and relax and then I'll start exploring the town a little bit more tomorrow. So what needs to happen now, um, I'm gonna go down, back down to the Exito, the big supermarket, uh, buy, not aloe vera, these uh, ladies who are here, they work at the hostel, they were telling me to buy um, something else, acid, 
leche, I don't really know. I have it written down. But um, I'm going to try something else because it's a lot better today already, but I really want it to, to really, really heal up before I go back out in the sun. Because it's still really, really warm here. It's um, uh, 75, but it's, 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 like, it's really perfect. It's kind of like a Seattle in the summertime. Okay, so I got some of this. It's a smaller one. Uh, I think it's about 12,000 pesos. So I'm going to go find some water now and then I can go. But one thing I forgot to mention as well is in Cartagena I ate a ton of the street food and I really think it messed up my gut because I like the sound of, of like fried foods or anything like that just like really sounds like terrible. So. Uh, I need to also get some breakfast here. It's, it's about noon. It's pretty late, but I need to uh, find some foods that are a little healthier and get on that kick for a little while. Pretty good sized bowl of all types of fruit. I got that just off a street vendor right here. 2,500 pesos. Nothing sounded good other than just fresh fruit. So really, really glad I found that. And that's pretty cheap. So this is just as you walk in the front. You walk through this sliding glass door, come in, and you head upstairs, and um, as you can see, there's a dining area here. The room that I'm in goes back there. A couple of bathrooms here. Um, this is just another public area with the TV and some outlets. And I was hanging out and editing some videos there last night. You step out here onto the little plaza, and you get a nice view of right out front of the hostel here. Florentina is the hostel name. It was the, the still shot from earlier in the video. But the hostel is incredibly clean. You know, it, does, it doesn't feel like a hostel. It feels like your grandma's house, is what I honestly just keep thinking. So, um, and then here in the room, uh, I've got my bed here. It's a seven bed room. And a uh, nice view of the front again. And so my stuff is all here. It's, as you can just see, it's just really clean. It seems like a really nice hotel room or a nice guest bedroom somewhere. So I'm sitting out on the top plaza area to just finish this video off. So again, this hostel here, incredibly, incredibly nice, and the staff are all super nice. Uh, this was 12,000 pesos. And all the cheapest hostels I could find in Cartagena were 15,000, and they are much less nice. Much, much less nice. Hot water here. The Wi-Fi speeds really really nice. I uploaded the Playa Blanca video from here last night and it took about an hour and 40 minutes. The upload was uh, about 5 megabytes and the download was closer to like 10 megabytes. So really huge improvement on Cartagena. I hope that's not just in this hostel. I hope it's uh, just kind of citywide because I'll be staying in a lot of different hostels. Okay I'm gonna wrap up this video uh, where it is right now and get it uploaded but please do like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave a comment. Uh, any questions or any comments about what's going on, um, any interaction from the audience really, really helps my channel. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.